Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, folks. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the Basement Show podcast. Short. That's right, baby. Here we go. It's a short. All right, T. We're getting right in. Okay. I am so ready. Emily's Bridge in Vermont. Most of the covered bridges in New England are known for their picturesque qualities, but Emily's Bridge in Stowe, Vermont, has a more infamous reputation. Built in 1844, Emily's Bridge in Stowe, Vermont was just 50 feet long over Gold Brook and was covered with dark wood that the elements haven't been merciful on ever since. (laughs) But around the time the bridge was built, that dark wood was still new, smelling of fresh pine and creaked every time a horse-drawn wagon crossed it. A young woman named Emily planned to elope with her love. (laughs) Their meeting place was this same bridge, but when he didn't show, Emily, filled with despair, hanged herself from the rafters of the Goldbrook Bridge. A sad story indeed, and anyone who hears it for the first time feels sorry for young Emily and her Aww. broken heart. Aww. Only Emily wasn't finished with the bridge just yet. Uh, there are a few stories of how Emily may have died on the bridge. The first legend has her waiting at this spot for elopement with a lover. While she yearned for his arrival, he did not show, and reportedly the devastated bride-to-be hung herself from the rafters above. Another tale has Emily arriving in a church to marry her beloved. However, the groom was a no-show. Smart. (laughs) The jilted bride was so distraught that she jumped into the family wagon and drove off. Blinded by sorrow, she took the team of horses to an incredible speed. When trying to navigate the turn before the bridge, the horses, (laughs) wagon, and Emily crashed over the bank and into the rocky brook with no survivors. The story started making the rounds in the area of sightings of young Emily lurking around the bridge. Not the sweet and sorrowful Emily we learned about, but a vengeful Emily full of wrath and apparently uh, long nails. (laughs) (laughs) Emily was understandably upset at being jilted. Anybody would be. But for Emily to take it out on passing cars, some would consider that overdramatic, but that's Emily. (laughs) <laughs> <She's>, girl <laughs> that's right girl you need to tone it down <laughs> she started slashing cars passing over the bridge leaving scars not unlike those left by wolverine of x-men fame <laughs> Shing! even pedestrians crossing emily's covered bridge are not safe and the marks on their backs bear witness to emily's fury which hasn't been abated even after all these years. Nothing like a woman's scorn. No. Many visitors to the bridge have claimed to witness paranormal activity. Strange noises such as footsteps, banging, ropes tightening, and screaming of a girl have been heard. Sounds like a lovely Saturday night. (laughs) Most of the strange activity seems to take place between midnight and 3.30 a.m. Of course. You'll have to be a night owl to visit with this ghost. Interestingly enough, it's not just called Emily's Bridge by Supernatural Enthusiasts. The name is carried over into the tourist products of Stowe, whose shops sell quaint little postcards and souvenirs featuring the bridge against the cozy backdrops of fall and winter, and labeled in a beautiful script, Emily's Bridge. (laughs) Emily's Bridge in Stowe is famous for being haunted, and the legends of what nightmares are made of. Did she take her own life? Was she stood up when she was set to marry? Did her fiancé's mother murder her? (laughs) No matter what the stories are, locals avoid going over the bridge after midnight. So if you're a night owl, head to Stowe, Vermont after midnight. But before you go, scratch that like button. And be sure and subscribe. (laughs) We'll be back next week with a full episode. Until then, give Emily our best. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, baby. It's over. Go home. Go. Yes. Yes.